Hello everybody, welcome to another Valheim video. Today uh, we're going to be learning how you can spawn the Bog Witch in your old world. And don't worry, this is the extent of content teasing I'm doing in this video. I won't tell you anything about the Bog Witch or her functions, I'll just tell you how to add her to an old world. To perform these updates, you'll need to install the mod Upgrade World. But don't worry, you'll only need to use the mod to figure out where the Bog Witch is, and then spawn her if she isn't there, and after that you can get rid of it, you don't need it anymore. So what you're going to do is you're going to load up your old world. The first time you do this, Valheim is going to take longer than normal to load. You'll see the bottom right say generating. After that, you'll find yourself in your Valheim world. However, you have no idea where the Bog Witch is. And it's an old world, so... You can't just look it up by looking up the seed here, because the old world has a different location spot. I'll show you a different way to do it, where you don't even need to look at that map. Luckily, Upgrade World has some commands that allow us to list the exact locations of certain places. So, we can run this command, and we can see that on this server, we have two potential spots. In a vanilla world, there's only one Halder, one Hilder, and one Bogwitch. Each trader will spawn in the first possible spot you get near to, and then it won't spawn anywhere else on the server. So, you would use the locations list command to identify the possible spots for the Bog Witch, which are usually going to be placed in areas that you have not yet explored. And then, we could go to one of these places, and now that we've teleported there, if we rerun the command, you can see that now there's only one Bog Witch registered, and it's close to us. And there we go, we can see the Bog Witch's location. However, we now have a problem, because this is the only Bog Witch on the server, and it's not like Hildur or Halder. This isn't a Meadows or a Black Forest spawn, this is a Swamp spawn that can be really far away. So, I'm going to show you how you can register multiple Bog Witches. You'll have to figure out where an ideal location for your Bog Witch is, so here we are in a swamp that is in a more ideal location. And we're going to use the command location register. Then we'll do bog witch camp and enter. And you'll see that nothing happened. But in the console, you'll see a message saying location bog witch camp registered to and then the exact coordinates. So now all we have to do is run a reset on the Bog Witch camps. Location, reset, Bog Witch, force. And then this is going to reset them, and boom, look at that. We now have a second Bog Witch camp. And just to prove my point, we'll open up the console, and we'll do another locations list, but use the Bog Witch, and look at that. We're back to having two registered Bog Witch camps. So let's say you want to do this for Hilder. How would you do it? Well, you just repeat the process. Location, register, and then Hilder, and then Hilder underscore camp. This is going to register the location, and then just like the other one, you want to get a little bit out of the way, and then all you do is run a force reset on that exact location, and then boom, look at that. We now have a fully functioning Hilder's camp right here, and the Bog Witch right there. And you could also do the exact same thing to get another merchant. However, now that you know how to add these locations, it would be irresponsible for me not to show you how to also remove them. Because otherwise, what are you going to do if you put it in the wrong place? The command you need to use is locations, remove, and then the name of the location. In this case, it's Bog Witch Camp. However, we don't want to remove all of the Bog Witches on the server. We only want to remove the one that we can see where our character is right behind us. So we're going to do zone and then max distance equals one. This command is really important. Make sure to put in the max distance equals one thing, because if you don't, 
you might accidentally delete all of the locations on your server. But in our case, we're just going to do this and add the force parameter and then start. And then boom, look at that. It literally just vanishes. It's that simple. I hope you enjoyed learning how you can use locations list, locations register, and locations resets to spawn any location in Valheim, including the new traders and the bog witch. If you want to support my work, then consider renting your own dedicated Valheim server using my link, JP Valheim. These days, we have a lot of control over our servers, and you can even make a custom Valheim experience that is vanilla friendly, that requires no mods, and I specialize in making tutorials all about that. So if you want something fun to do with the server that you rent, I have plenty of videos for you. Alternatively, you can like this video or any other video about Valheim to show YouTube that you want to see more Valheim content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye